welcome everyone to a community conversation today that I've been looking forward to for some time. Uh, I have with me Kyle Shackman, the Assistant Director of Digital Accessibility at Harvard University and a Rising Star Award winner to boot. So welcome, Kyle. Thanks for having me, John. So what can sort of IT leaders or IT organizations or CIOs for that matter, what can they do uh, to advance digital accessibility on their campus even without a Kyle? <laughs> Digital accessibility is a really great opportunity for CIOs or IT in general to be able to be a leader on campus. I should probably back up and mention digital accessibility is making sure that all of the technology that we build and create and we buy is usable to people with disabilities. And we want that usability to be at the same time and with the same ease of use, right? Having an, a disability shouldn't be a barrier to participation in the programs, services, and activities that our universities provide. So for IT leaders and CIOs, digital accessibility is an area where we have the opportunity to lead our campus conversation, to be a really trusted partner and a leader on our campuses promoting inclusion for people with disabilities through the technology products that we buy, that we build, and how we train everyone to create websites, documents, digital resources, disseminating research, uh, all of those areas are opportunities for us to lead. And just like all the other kinds of technologies that we work with, it's a great opportunity to be partners. So we might lead as the technology experts, but we get to partner with our diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging offices, or our communications offices, or human resources, our faculty, our provosts and presidents for governance, right? It's a great opportunity where IT can, can be a knowledgeable expert leader uh, in that digital inclusion space. So Educaz has tried to prioritize digital accessibility and accessibility of all kinds. What has Educaz gotten right when it comes to digital accessibility? You know, and if you had that magic wand that you could change one thing <laughs> that we could do better, what would that be? So Educause has done some really good things in recent years for digital accessibility and the higher education community generally. I especially think one of the biggest ways we serve as a resource to the community through Educause is the IT Accessibility Community Group. It's just a really great resource for people who do this work on our many, many member campuses. We have hundreds of people that join us every month to meet up. We have thousands of people, many of whom actively participate in our community forums. And whether people are veterans to the field and they've been around a long time, or they're brand new in their first digital accessibility role, that space and that community of people wanting to make higher education more accessible is just an invaluable resource for professionals working in this niche of the field. We all have room to grow in what we do. And I think a, a great space where Educause can lead and continue to lead into the future is helping be a bridge and a conduit between uh, technology companies and organizations and member institutions and the roles that it plays in helping uh, set standards or expectations or guide people to resources uh, in formalized ways or programmatic ways. I think about uh, programs that Educause runs in other areas like privacy or security, um, research in all sorts of different areas. And IT accessibility is one of those where there's uh, certainly immense opportunity to, to do so. And especially among our vendor partners that we work with uh, so often as educational institutions. I really enjoyed the conversation, Kyle. Thank you so much for being with us today to talk about digital accessibility. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me, John.